Yo, what's going on guys? Uh, today I'm going to be giving my NBA DraftKings picks for Saturday, November 25th. Uh, we got a 10 game slate on this Saturday. Um, and one thing to note guys, I'm recording this video a little bit later than normal, uh, a little bit later than I normally record my videos. And I am kind of running short on time. I did want to get this video out uh, in time for enough people to consume it. So I'm just going to be doing five plays for today. Not going to have enough time to go position by position and hit on guys. Uh, so just going to be doing five plays. Obviously, since I record this the night before, uh, my five plays are all going to be like early looks. Definitely don't just plug these five guys into your lineup, fill out the three spots, and then expect to win money. It doesn't work like that. All the five plays I give out in my videos are never lock plays. I do record all my vids the night before. So things are going to change throughout the day. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at the DFS underscore GOAT. I definitely don't use my Twitter enough when it comes to fantasy purposes. I usually just... I kind of just would use it for uh, promotion of my vids, just kind of tweet out my vids. Uh, I'm starting to be a lot more active on Twitter, starting to talk more fantasy when it comes to using my Twitter. So as we go throughout the day on Saturday, as we get more news on the slate, more injury news, things will open up, things are going to change. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, we can discuss things there. Or if you don't have a Twitter, just feel free to leave a comment down on the video. If there's a guy that you really like today, make sure you leave him down in the comments, we'll discuss it there as well. Uh, but yeah, guys, like I said, just going to do five plays for today. Don't plug these five guys into your lineups, fill out the three spots, and expect to win money. Like I said, it doesn't work like that. Things are going to change. Maybe some value opens up. Maybe guys rest. It, it, a lot of teams uh, are on back-to-backs. I am recording this on Friday night. There are a lot of teams playing Friday night that are playing on Saturday as well, so guys could rest. Definitely make sure you keep up with injury news on Saturday. Make sure you're following me on Twitter if you haven't already. If plays open up that I really like on Saturday as we get more news, we'll be sure to tweet them out. Uh, but yeah, guys, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, starting off with the first play, the first guy that I like today, he's one. Of, uh, he's a point guard. That's Kyle Lowry, uh, 7,700, going up against the Hawks. Definitely like Kyle Lowry. He really stood out to me when it comes to price, matchup, uh, and recent performance. You look at Kyle Lowry's game logs, the guy's been playing really well lately. Has had three of his last four games be over 50 draftings points. Uh, in his last four games, 50.25, 50 DK points, 28, and 52. Um, and right now, as I'm recording this video, Lowry's having a, another pretty solid game tonight on Friday night. And he gets another good matchup today playing against the Hawks, who really struggled defensively against point guards. They're giving up a pretty nice game to Jarrett Jack. Uh, I did mention Jarrett Jack in Monday's videos when I went over point guard. I mentioned him as a possible value play. He is having a pretty solid game. I think he's got a double-double. He's got like 10 points, 12 assists. So definitely exceeded value on his price tag. So we're going to want to continue to roster point guards against the Hawks. So nothing's going to change here. Really like Kyle Lowry today. He's been playing really well lately. Has a really nice price tag on him. And obviously the matchup's great against Atlanta. So Kyle Lowry, 7,700. Really like him today. Early looks at the slate. Definitely a guy I'm going to be targeting in my lineups on Saturday. And then my next play is also going to be a point guard. A value play that I really like. Uh, TJ McConnell, 4K, going up against the Magic. Uh, I think TJ McConnell is going to be a pretty popular play today. We've already got news uh, that Ben Simmons is not going to be playing today on Saturday. TJ McConnell, they've already announced, is going to be starting for Simmons. Uh, so McConnell should see plenty of minutes. Probably will see at least 30 minutes, I would say. Uh, and going up against the Magic, a bad defensive team against point guards, it's very likely that McConnell returns 6, possible 7, maybe even 8x on the salary. Uh, so I think he's a great, uh, great play in cash games. Definitely a guy you want in your cash games if you're playing cash on this slate. He's a good tournament play as well. I think it's very likely he returns like 7, 8x on this salary. Now that he's getting the start for Simmons, he should see plenty of minutes. Should not have a problem uh, paying off this price tag. So although he's going to be very chalky, I really like TJ McConnell today. Just think he's a great uh, value play all around on this slate. It's just 4K. And then my next play is going to be a power forward or center. It's kind of like a combo of two plays. Uh, right now, I'm leaning DeMarcus Cousins going up against Golden State. But Anthony Davis for 400 less. I like both of these guys. Uh, I think both of these guys are going to have very good games. When they played earlier this year, Anthony Davis had like 70 DraftKings points against Golden State. Boogie had like 68, 69. Uh, so both of these guys crushed Golden State earlier. Right now, I'm leading Boogie Cousins at 11K just because I think when you're getting these guys at such a similar price tag, I'd rather have Boogie. Usually AD is a lot cheaper. He's only $400 uh, dollars cheaper today. So I'm thinking about leaning Boogie at 11K. If I'm paying up for a stud, he's definitely the guy I'm going to be targeting today. We know Golden State does have trouble defending bigs. So they're going to have a lot of trouble in this matchup. And like I said earlier, these guys crushed him when they played earlier this year. Boogie had 68 DraftKings points, had 35 points against the Warriors. 
uh, four steals, five assists, got 14 rebounds, just crushed against Golden State earlier this year. A couple Warriors players did not play on Friday. Kevin Durant was out Friday. Draymond Green rested as well. I imagine they're going to be back today playing, so the Warriors are probably going to be at full strength. I don't think there's a ton of blowout potential in this game because I think the Pelicans can actually hang with the Warriors. The Warriors are going to have a lot of trouble defending these two guys. So Roster and Boogie and AD today I think make a, makes a lot of sense. You can't go wrong with either one. But right now I'm leading Cousins just because there isn't much of a savings discount. I definitely like taking AD when you get him for like 1K cheaper, but today there's only a $400 difference. So I'm just going to roll with DeMarcus Cousins, 11K. I think him and AD are both going to eat in this matchup. Definitely two studs I'm going to be looking to pay up for today. And then my final two plays are both going to be value center plays that I like. Uh, the first guy, I mentioned him on Friday. Right now, as I'm recording this video, he's having a pretty solid game. Steven Adams, uh, I think he's having like a double-double against Detroit. He's got like 12 points, 8 rebounds, almost a double-double. A uh, pretty solid game for his price tag. Uh, and he gets another good matchup today going up against Dallas. A very bad rebounding team, a very bad uh, de uh, team when it comes to defending bigs. So it's a good spot for Steven Adams. Should totally be able to dominate the boards. Should definitely be able to get a double-double. Uh, and he's still way too cheap in my opinion, especially for cash games, uh, 5400 He should not have a problem returning value on that price tag, especially given today's matchup. So if you're looking for a little bit of a value center today, I think Steven Adams definitely makes a lot of sense. Like I said earlier, guys, though, I am recording this the night before. A lot of teams are on back-to-backs. OKC's on a back-to-back. -back. Guys could rest. So make sure you're following me on Twitter if you haven't already. So if uh, injury news happens or if some injuries uh, open up good value plays, like I said, I'll be sure to hit on those on Twitter as we go throughout the day Saturday. So make sure you're giving me a follow there if you haven't already. But if OKC doesn't rest any guys, which I wouldn't imagine they would, I think it's a good spot for Steven Adams. Good matchup. Dallas can't rebound. Uh, Adams should definitely be able to dominate the boards in the spot. So I like going with him as center. If you're looking for a little bit of a cheaper play there, definitely think Steven Adams makes sense today at 5,400. Uh, and then my final play, like I said, is also at center. Another value play I like at this position. Um, is Martian Gortat, just 4,900 going up against Portland. Gortat is going to have to go up against Yusuf Nurkic today, so obviously not the best matchup, uh, but Gortat's price tag and with how many minutes this guy plays, he should not have a problem returning value on the salary. The guy plays pretty much over 30 minutes just about every game, and he's only 4,900. They're going to need Gortat to play that amount of minutes today to defend Nurkic. They're going to need him on the floor when Nurkic is on the floor. So I think Gortai gets a double-double today. I think he easily pays off this cheap price tag of just 4900 So he is another center play that I really like for value. I think he's a good cash game play at this price tag. I think he has upside to return 6 7 x on this salary as well, which makes him viable for tournaments. Uh, so if you're looking for just an all-around cheap play at center that's viable in both formats, definitely like Martian Gortai today at his really cheap price tag of just 4900 And yeah, guys, so these are going to be the five plays for today. Uh, Kyle Lowry, DeMarcus Cousins, Stephen Adams, TJ McConnell, Martian Gortat. Uh, guys, please don't just plug in these five plays, fill out the three spots, and then and then get mad at me if the lineup doesn't do good and you don't win any money. I do record these videos the night before. Things will change. I'll try and talk more about the slate on uh, Saturday when we get injury news and when, if value opens up. Definitely make sure you give me a follow on Twitter. We can discuss things there or leave a comment uh, down on this video. We'll be sure to uh, reply to your comment as well. So yeah, guys, early looks at this slate. These are five guys I'm looking to target today. Five guys I definitely think you should be considering as well. If there's anybody that you really like today that I didn't hit on, make sure you leave them down in the comments or just hit me up on Twitter. But that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you drop a like on the video. Be sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel. If this is your first time watching a video on my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, my videos are usually a lot longer than this if you are new. I usually don't do, just do five plays. I usually go by uh, position by position and talk about some other guys that I like. But since I'm kind of running short on time, just gave out five plays today. We'll talk more about the slate on Saturday on Twitter. Uh, so give me a follow there if you haven't already, like I said. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and good luck today, guys. Peace. Facts. Yeah, she drop it slow. Huh? What? Yeah, neck on fro. Whoa, 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 whoa,
Yeah, she driving slow. Uh, what? Yeah, neck on fro. 